The government is bailing out big corporations. Meanwhile, ordinary people are struggling to survive. Millions are losing their jobs, their income, don't know how they're gonna pay rent or bills. Essential workers are out there protecting us, but they don't have enough protective gear. And our privatized healthcare system is killing people. We need to be out there supporting our communities and making bold demands, but social distancing makes protests difficult. So I decided to call my friend Molly. Hey, I'm Molly. For the last few years, I've been making banners for protests. But since this lockdown was called in New York, I've started making banners for my friends. First, you need fabric. In my case, an old bed sheet. Then you need paint, art paint, spray paint, house paint. They're all good, also a brush. The cheap glue brushes from the hardware store are just fine. Then you need to sketch out your slogan. I'm using a dried up old marker. Sketch the letters of the banner lightly. This is important so you don't run out of space. Paint your letters. Make the lines thinner than you think because most fabric will bleed a little bit. You can always make them thicker later. Then let the banner dry overnight. Ta-da, the banner's dry and you're ready to hang it or mail it to a friend. Once you get your banner, you have to hang it outside of your home. You'll need to keep the banner from flapping so people can read what it says. Cut four small holes in each corner. Tie the top strings to a heavy object or nails by your window. Please join us in remaking protest for this corona crisis and in using the exteriors of our homes to reclaim public space for the people. After you make and hang your own protest banner, share your photo or video with us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok by tagging Raise That Banner. <laughs> <laughs>